Welcome back to Rob's Jobs Tiny House Chill Videos. Build videos. We will be working on my bed. I'm using 10 centimeter by 2.5 centimeter beams to run vertically for the weight distribution to the ground and not from the walls and the same beams running horizontally to take the force of me laying on top of there. Um, I will have four beams running uh, in the horizontal way and two beams running in the vertical way and then there will be slots in between. This vertical one will be 20 centimeters wide because it has to be the facade of the bed and this one is purely for strength in the back. I won't see it and it is 20, uh, 114 millimeters wide. I'm screwing the vertical beams to the wall just for stability, not to hold any weight. And I'm not tightening them very tight, that way they have some slack for the weight to go into the floor. At the joints, I'll make them fit nicely together and slot together like this. I'm using these corner profiles to strengthen the joints. Alright guys, all the parts are ready to be installed, but I'm not going to install them now because now I can still reach this. I think it's time to do the floor. It's gonna be a bit of a trick to get those boxes cut out uh, properly, the doors. But I have a trick for that and uh, we'll see how that ends up. I'll be using this beautiful sheet of plastic flooring and it is oak panel and it looks amazing. I need to measure everything and cut it out. half of the floor back again and now I got to spread this glue on the floor and then wait for it to dry and then fold it back over. This stuff has been drying for about half an hour and now it's semi tacky which is perfect and now I can lay the floor on top. And here at the detail parts, I can just cut off the vinyl so that it lines up nicely with the wood. Now I have to cut out the underground storage boxes. To do that, I measured the distance and I poked the knife through the slot. And now I'll just draw the knife as smooth as possible. And I'm putting pressure to one side. All right guys, it's time to glue up the joints for the bed frame. And this one will fit in like this. And I'll just add some wood glue and add some wood glue filler. You can make wood glue filler by just getting some nice wood glue and then covering it with wood sprinkles or wood dust. You mix that together and then you get a wood filler paste. And it's great when your joints are not that tight. After filling up the joints nicely, I can screw this part together. I'm strengthening this joint with a corner bracket. On the top of the vertical beams, I'm putting this plywood plank to distribute the pressure a bit better in between the individual planks. This one will be fixed into place and this one will be movable for storage built in here. As you can see here, I made an opening for the table that will be able to slide out of here and it will run through these beams. Aside from pre-drilling the holes, I will also be gluing the planks onto place.
I ordered pretty big 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter plywood and this is 15 millimeters thick and I will use that to cover my bed. The right two of these will be openable so that I can make storage underneath. In this side there will be the building table. Here on the back truss I will place a double sided hinge so I can hinge this part and hinge this part from each other and they will be connected to each other. So I can access this as storage and this as storage. Now I just measure the distances here and fill them up with plywood. Alright, I fitted all four panels in place neatly. Now I have to work on the hinging system. But before I continue with that, I'm going to work on my bathroom. Now I just put up this wall, which will be the kind of side of a cabinet here next to the door. And now I want to drill the hole for the plumbing. So I got this piece of plastic tubing, which is 50 millimeters wide, and I'm gonna put it in. Alright, this is as far as I get. I'm through the wood and now I need to go from the other side. So I'm working on the shower area and I've covered off this wall part and now I'm covering off this part. And that will be the height of a big plank that I'll put here where the wood stove will go on top. This plank has been properly installed with corner brackets on both sides, so it's very sturdy because the oven slash wood stove will be on here. For the bathroom, I got a nice new vinyl flooring, which is a bit darker and a very grainy kind of wood. And I prepared the bathroom already with a little plank here to have the waterproofing tub in, which will be the vinyl, and it'll wrap around. 10 centimeters high. I cleaned the bathroom floor. I'm just finishing with the mounting of these screws. Then this will be tight and I can add the waterproof flooring. Because I want the vinyl to go up 10 centimeters, I'm cutting out these 10 centimeter squares out of the corner. And now, really careful, I will score the back of this stuff with a knife so that I can fold it over and the edge will be perfectly 90 degrees. After some cutting and adjusting, I managed to get everything fit absolutely perfectly in place. Okay, now I can glue the floor in. All right, now I can glue the floor in. I folded it back half, just like the other time. And now I'm going to spread this out. And I have to cover the floor and the vinyl. The floor has been glued in, I just need to cut around the drain and trim the edges and then I'll be done with that. But that's it for today and for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time at Rob's Jobs, Tiny House Building.